This afternoon, what I would like to do is focus on some key areas in that paper, uh, those that I think are particularly important. Let me start with infrastructure. The Council is calling for our nation to invest $2.2 trillion in infrastructure over the next 10 years. The fact is, and you know it, we've deferred too much investment in this area. With interest rates so low, we should put construction crews back to work building transportation hubs and links that can move our goods and services around the world. The long-term benefits are clear. More efficient production and delivery, stronger exports, and more competitive business overall. It's not just about roads and bridges. In the 21st century, our digital infrastructure will only become more crucial. So for our part, the Commerce Department has worked since 2009 to deploy more than 100,000 miles of broadband. This is bringing more opportunity to hundreds of rural and underserved communities in every corner of the country. So I like to say bridges to broadband. We need all of it. Before we move on, I'll just note that the private sector itself can play a stronger role with infrastructure investment. For example, ideas like the National Infrastructure Bank have garnered strong bipartisan support. The point being, we can't wait any longer. We all must work together to unlock capital for the infrastructure improvements that we all know America needs now. Second, we need more workers with the right skills. This council's new paper boldly states that we need to, and I quote, ensure low cost, easy access to high quality education and training for all Americans. I couldn't agree more, which is why I've been working very closely with Labor Secretary Tom Perez on this issue. On Friday, the President, President Obama went to Brooklyn to visit uh, a school that's called Pathways in Technology Early College High School, or PTEC as we've called it. Uh, that school is focused on STEM education and training, something I know near and dear to everyone's heart here. In Chicago, when I served on the school board, we liked that model that, was, that exists in Brooklyn so much, we launched five of these schools in Chicago, partnering with IBM, Microsoft, Cisco, Motorola, and Verizon. An emphasis on STEM education is smart. And we know this, after all, STEM-related jobs are growing three times as fast as other jobs, and they pay about 25% more. More broadly, I think we need to focus on helping the long-term unemployed find paths to new jobs. The fact is we have four million job openings even though about four million Americans have been searching for a job for over six months. So to bridge that gap, it requires not just matching, it often requires retraining. So the council, I think, is really on the mark in calling for stronger partnerships between training institutions and businesses. 